Good morning friends. Today I am with a new series of videos on a new simulator named Vbots. So, Vbots is a software which is owned by Cyberbotics and this is an open source software. You can download the software from the company's website. This also works in Windows, iOS and Linux. So today we are going to see and build our first world on Vbots. So after you install the software, you just need to type Vbots on your terminal. And when you spawn Vbots, you get the software coming. And today we are going to make our first project on Vbot where we will have this robot ePluck, which is a standard robot in Vbot. This will go straight. This will teach us how to set up environment, how to make a controller. This seems intimidating, but it's not so difficult. So let's start with a new project. So for that, we need to go to wizard, new project directory. So now you'll have a new window. So you need to choose a directory. So I will choose project one. So this will set a directory on my desktop. Then I will need to choose the name of my world. So basic, let's name it basic. And remember, if you check add a rectangular arena, it will add such area so that you can add things in that particular rectangular arena. So we'll take this and we'll click on next. So these are the files which are going to be generated and Vbots has its own folder structure which will be generated by this way. So we just click on finish and we don't need this so we'll close this. So now if you see we have a rectangular area and we have a theme of mountains. This can also be changed. So first let's tweak our rectangular area. So here we have rectangular arena where we can change its floor size. So let's make it 1.5 and 1.5. So it looks square. So now we saw the size increased. We can also change the wall height. Let's do it 0.2. So our walls increased. Now let's change the tiles, number of tiles. Let's make it smaller. Yeah, so these are some of the tweakings of the rectangular area. Now VBOTS has a big custom library with many objects. So if you want to import some object, you click on plus sign. So you can add a node. So Vbots name each entity as a node. So we go to prototype node. We go to default. Oops, we go to objects. We go to factory. We go to containers. So we can see here what all they have. So let's take a wooden container and we can add it. So you can see the container is added similar to the rectangular area. We can change the wooden box size. So let's make this size as 0.2 so that it suits the environment. Yeah. So yeah, we can see the size. Now, if I want to move this cube, I have two options. First B, I can translate like 0 0.5. It will translate along X direction. So you can see. And second, 
an easy thing is you can use arrows to move the bo box and you can also rotate the box with rotation like I can have this box rotated about this axis. Now I have this setup running. I need to save it. If I don't save stuff and I click on play button, it will not save anything. So let's save this. Now let's consider we want one more box. So we can click on control C, control V. So it will superimpose a box on the previous box. Now if I move, I have this box. Again, I click on control V. Yeah, so we have three boxes. And as I told you, please save the stuff. Now, this is about environment setup. Let's move this because we are going to integrate our robot as well. So now as we integrated the cubes, we will also integrate a robot. So we can have a robot. Let's take the same one e plug. So this is the robot which we use. If I add it, this is its origin. I can even move the robot and Vbot has a default obstacle avoidance node running on this robot. So I save the environment and now if I click on play, it will start running. But you notice our boxes are still in air. So we'll pause the simulation. Let's fix the boxes issue. This is in air because it does not have its mass. So let's make them 1 kg. So if I change mass of all boxes to 1 kg, and now if I click on play, I see my box move, and you can see there's an obstacle avoidance node. There are a distance sensor on this robot. So if you want to see how this is controlled, that will seem complex. So let's first learn about physics. So if I want to simulate a force, I can click sh control alt an arrow. This will move my box. See, I can as if a force is applied on this box. I can do it for all the boxes. See, if I do it slowly. And now, this again, I repeat, it's done by control. Alt, Alter, and Arrow key. Yeah. So, as you saw, it's not a big deal to make the simulation. Now, let's do one thing. Let's pause this. Now, we have not saved this direction. So, when I click on Back, everything comes in its own position. Okay. So now let's build a controller for our robot because that is the most essential thing in the simulation. So let's go to wizard. Let's go to new robot controller. Next, let's build it in C++. There are many options. Next, let's name this as front command. Click on next. So it will make in the same folder, it will make these files for our controller. We click on finish. 
so we have our controller basic model here now how does Nova robot know that this is the controller it is going to use so I can go in robot excuse me I can click on controller and I can select the controller which we just made which is known as front command I click on OK so now my robot will follow my controller I just have a basic controller ready where in this code it is pretty much standard let's first copy this code and we will go step by step so let's paste it yeah so we imported motor because uh, this is a library in vbots to communicate and move the rotary joints then we have we define max speed as 0 0.628 6.28 sorry time step as 64 and now we made an instance of robot which is a robot which is in dynamic memory now as we imported motor we make pointers to class motor which is left motor and right motor and as we know this robot has its name left motor and right motor and if we see so this code must be looking difficult to you so I have a link in the description where this is the tutorial which you can follow and the code is also provided here so we I'm sorry it is left wheel motor and right wheel motor let's copy this is left wheel motor control V right wheel motor yeah so we have instances of left and right wheel and we set their maximum position to be infinity and now let's set their velocity as 10% of maximum speed and then we spin if you must be using ROS it's like ROS spin and then we delete the robot instance so this is a basic code where we just make instances of motor and then set their velocity as 0.1 so now we save this and we run the code so it compiled correctly and now we restart so now when I click play oops our front command crashed it was built correctly right let's clear the build let's build it once more reload yeah save so we reloaded the environment and now when we see our front command controller is working fine so if you see it will directly obstruct because it is told to just move straight see it obstruct now if i move this sideways it will go straight so today we learned a code where we have a controller which moves the robot in the straight direction so this is all about today's video i'll be coming with other videos on vbots stay tuned do like share and subscribe to soft illusion
Thank you and bye bye.